Hello, everyone. It's the same. It's on. It's on. Can you guys hear me? Okay. <laughs> so tonight, I am going to be preaching. Um, I'm not going to be preaching for too long, but I just wanted to share a bit. Um, this morning, Pastor JC called me, and he asked me um, if I wanted to run the night. And I said, of course, <laughs> I would love to. And then he's like, but here's the catch. Uh, I need someone to preach tonight. So he was, and I knew where he was going with that. So I had already said, yes, I will preach before he even got the words out. So after I got off the phone with him, I was thinking, oh, what am I going to talk about? Because right now life's still a little crazy for me, but I couldn't pinpoint exactly what God wanted me to talk about. So as I was thinking about it, all of a sudden I just hear the word transition pop into my head. And I was like, Lord, I don't, I haven't really thought much about it right now. But then he said it again to me, transition. And so I know well enough now that you kind of have to listen when, when you hear a word just pop into your head like that. And then you feel convicted and you feel just this overwhelming sense of this is what I'm supposed to expand on. So I'm talking tonight a bit about transitions. So how many of you have been or currently are in a transition, um, a transition period in your life? It could be you're going into a different grade. Um, some of you, yes. You are going into a different age group, most of you. Um, you just started this youth group. Hmm. So you are all in the process of being in a transition. So I myself am also in a transition period right now. Um, I just started a new job. Praise be to God, because I had been out of a job for a very long time now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I was really excited about joining the job. Um, but it was a bit of a transition for me because I had come from that background. I'm an administrative assistant. Um, so I know a bit about it. But it's still a different scenario because I work for an insurance company now, whereas before I did not. So I've been in a process of kind of getting in the hang of it and being okay where I am. But through this process, I am also in a transition period because I'm getting married. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So I have been in a season of being blessed immensely. However, it's been a bit scary. I have to grow up now. Like, I have to start paying bills. I have to move out of my house and I have to start spending my life with someone who I love dearly, but I've never spent my life with him yet. So I don't know what that's going to be like, but I'm sure God will bless me on my way there. But it has been tough for me. And part of the reason why I was so apprehensive about talking about transitions tonight was because I hadn't yet dealt with this. Like, I hadn't talked to God about it. It, ha it wasn't something that I was even, like, thinking about that I was struggling with. But I have been struggling with it, and God kind of convicted me this morning because I was like, I have been struggling so hard with this. I have kind of avoided the fact that this is how my life is going now. Like, I am I'm getting married. I'm getting older. Like, God's bringing me through a new season in my life. But it's been tough for me because I've been trying to, like, bury myself in my work. And that doesn't always, it doesn't always help things. And I've noticed that it's helped it's helped nothing and the only thing that has been helping was surrendering it to God and it's something that I haven't done yet for every aspect of the situations I'm going through how many of you have succeeded in trying to take care of something yourself okay one of you occasionally oh two of you okay that doesn't count I mean real life situations Like, how many of you have been extremely successful? Like, right off the bat, you know, you had it taken care of. You passed. Passable's not accepted. But did you struggle? Were you a little stressed out there? You were a little stressed out? Okay. So that's how I've been this entire time because I've been trying to deal with it on my own. Yes, Lily. do it before
Of course. It is always very hard. So I, I, can, I can relate big time to that because I had also had a mommy who did everything for me. And now I'm doing it for myself. And it's, it's scary. It's really scary. And I've noticed that I haven't been handling it the best way I could. So this is part, partly me kind of confessing to all of you that I have been struggling. And the only thing that is really going to help me, and it's what I've come to realize today, is just surrendering it to God. Because this is really, in the end, what he wants, is for you to surrender all of your issues to him because he cares. He brings all of these things to light to you some way or another because he cares. He wants you to not feel that burden anymore. He doesn't want you to feel scared. He doesn't want you to feel anxious because you know what that's going to do? Can anyone guess what that's going to do to you? It'll make you go, yikes, yes. Yes, you'll have a mental breakdown and you'll forget completely that there is a God who can help you. You'll forget that there will be a blessing through the process you're going through, and you'll forget that there will be a lesson to learn through it because you're so focused on what's going on. You're so focused on the fact that you're freaking out inside. You're so focused on the fact that things aren't necessarily going as you planned. You really can't, like, you can't plan things in your life because God's going to laugh, and he's going to be like, this is what I want you to do. And eventually you're going to just do what God wants you to do because he's the ruler of your life if you let him. And I am letting him. It's just a matter of surrendering each situation I'm going through to him. So this is me coming to you saying, I still have this to work on, and I'm still going to surrender what I'm currently going through to God because I have to, because I can't do it on my own, because this is a very big life step, and I cannot do it on my own. And I realize that now. After a few kicks to the ground, I am now realizing it. And I... I don't know why it's taken me this long because I'm usually quick to surrendering, but sometimes life gets a, gets a hold of you and you can't always, you can't always just trust God because these things get muddled in your brain. So I just want to encourage you with that today to just really press into God. When you notice that your life is starting to get a little out of control, when you notice that you're starting to have to do things on your own, and when you notice that things are not going as you had initially planned and you feel sad about that, give that over to God because he's going to direct you on a path that he wants you to be on. He's going to direct you to the right place at the right time. That's according to his plan. And that is going to end up growing your relation with, relationship with him in the end because that's ultimately the goal is to grow closer to God through these seasons in your life. And there will be seasons in your life. Trust me, they don't just, they don't just stop and they may lull for a small amount of time, but they're not always going to be, they're not always going to be gone. They're going to happen when you least expect it, when you least want it. They're going to happen at the most inconvenient time in your life because God is teaching you a lesson through that time. And it's going to be a lesson that can grow you deeper in your relationship with him. And it can also, if you surrender it over to him, it can grow you deeper in your relationships with people. Because you're growing through your life with people around you. It's going to deepen your relationship with your parents. It's going to deepen your relationship with your friends. It's going to deepen your relationships at some point if you have a significant other. It's going to deepen your relationships with that person. I've noticed that myself, that Dalton and I have gotten so much closer in our relationship because we've had to put God at the center and trust him ultimately above everything else because we have no choice because we cannot do it on our own. Because there are so many, so much bigger things at play here when you start to try to take it alone. So I just want to encourage you today to not take it alone and to trust God through every transition in your life.